All right, uh, this is going to go hopefully uh, pretty quick. I want to cover a couple of things, uh, making a persistent live USB stick. We'll take a look at the Wine app image and then the application here I've been testing with the Ant SDR. Uh, it's a Windows-based application right now, but uh, we'll get it running in Linux here in just a second. And I've got my Pluto back, so I'll check it, and then the Ant SDR. Uh, and, and you'll see what it is here in a second. Uh, a spectrum well it's more than just a spectrum analyzer but uh, you can see right here the highlights but anyways first things first MK USB since uh, some people have been asking about how to or another way besides Rufus to make a persistent live USB stick so that you could run Dragon OS from USB and reboot and have your settings saved and whatnot you're gonna need to add the MK USB PPA Uh, let's see so a couple things too while I'm thinking about it when you run it live persistent USB you're gonna uh, of course uh, boot up with a user live with no password um, you want to um, if you're gonna run it that way you're you know you're gonna want to make another user if you do that uh, there's some things or you can uh, let me think yeah so if you make another user you should be added to all the groups that you needed to be added to uh, you will have to run the uh, SDR Play uh, installer manually if you want SDR Play support that's in the user source directory because uh, you won't, uh, well actually I don't know, if you make another user and log in you might be prompted uh, with a little script that I have there to do that. There, there's maybe a couple of the things you need to think about if you're going to run a, a live persistent USB. Uh, so you'll install MKUSB and you'll install the uh, what's needed for the persistent part of this. And uh, so once you got all that set up, you should just be able to do MKUSB. A couple different ways to run it. We'll just stick with the uh, classic easy to use D. Okay. We want to install, make a uh, new boot device. We'll do persistent live. And I'm going to select the source file. I'll be back in just a second. All right, so I selected uh, the latest Dragon OS uh, ISO image, Dra uh, Dragon OS Focal selected that it jumped over to the next thing here which is select the target device there's a USB SAN disk plugged in yep that's it and yes let's see I'm gonna go with the USB pack EFI we'll do let's see raise up the percent here uh, that's going to be available for persistence and then the rest will be used for uh, USB data I'll just try like this good for most current uses sure try that and yes go ahead just make sure you don't overwrite the wrong drive okay so we'll let that do its thing and then what we want to do is jump over here and we're going to grind, uh, grab the uh, wine app image from the github page that I've got open here you can go actually if you go to it you'll come down and you'll find the release section we'll download the app image two hundred ninety eight megs we'll save that also jump over to the application just 
just minimizing that so we can continue to work on this. We'll go to the download page and it says 0 .0 0 0.6.0.1. Uh, we'll see what we got here. check back on this. So we want to unzip what we just downloaded. We'll unzip the satsajin 6.0 uh, one setup.zip which I've already done. And we've got our wine app image so we'll do wine app image on our Satsajin, let's see, setup.exe, so let's try this here. So this will run, now if you ran, uh, if you run Wine for the first time you're going to need to download and install, install some stuff. Um, it'll prompt you, uh, but once you get past that you run it again on your installer. And so this will install this particular application and also if you're curious the persistent live USB stick uh, boot it up uh, I'm making a folder right now on the desktop and I'll shut down and we'll boot it back up here in just a second so now in the home dragon Oh, that's the other thing. When you run uh, from the live USB persistent stick, you're going to have to, it'll prompt you to remo remove the installation media and whatnot when you're shutting down. We'll boot it back up here real quick. All right, it's booting up. But, uh, so what we want to do for this application, we'll go into Wine32. We'll go Drive C. We'll go Program Files. Do a slash there the correct way we'll go into the dot com directory and we should see the application folder there and then the file there so let's see I am going to replace that executable really quick with a file as test in here for ant SDR and to do that, uh, let's see. Okay, that should have copied that. But if you got the Pluto SDR, you don't have to, you know, do that part. So now we'll do. Let's see. So now we need to do. Uh, Dragon downloads wine app image and set station. So essentially, what we're doing is telling the app image to run the executable. Give it a second. So now, let's see, we've got our spectrum analyzer pulled up here. And I'm going to quit jumping back and forth. The new folder is on the desktop, so that looks like a pretty good way to make a live persistent USB stick for Dragon OS Focal. All right. So I've got my Pluto here. I'm going to plug in USB wise. I'm also going to look at a couple notes here because uh, I wanted to test something anyways. So I have a loopback or basically a cable from the RX to the TX connecting one another with an attenuator on my Pluto. And let's see. All right, we're going to go to Toolbox. We're going to go Settings. First things first with uh, Linux and the way we got it set up. I think it's under Extra. We need to, right here it says Linux Wine. Check mark that. 
devices, let's see, settings, everything looks okay. Go over to level correction. There's one thing though I want to, let's see. TSA, okay. So we'll, this is a test that I'm going to do here though. All right, we'll go spectrum analyzer with tracking. Well, after I turn the power on, should detect uh, the 192.168.2.1. Go spectrum analyzer with tracking. Ooh, let me set this up first. Six thousand. All right, we'll let this run for a second here. Spectrum analyzer with tracking. Alright, so I just wanted to test that. Uh, let's see. Let me try try two devices here and see how this works. So I'll leave the that one as is, but we'll change the let's see. We're gonna change the IP on the ant SDR. IP 92.168.1.10, but we need to. Hmm. I guess it's this manual. to the ant. So, let's see. Hmm. So, I'm not sure how all these things work with two. So now we're using the NSDR. So, um, yeah, I don't know, uh, but obviously do some reading up on how to run two at the same time and, and how that works. But uh, uh, mainly what I wanted to show is how to get the Wine app image set up in DragonOS, 
how to install an application. You can always uh, also use uh, DSD Plus. I use uh, pretty. That's pretty simple, and uh, you could probably make a shortcut to the uh, to the application. Uh, put you could probably put Wine App Image a, a sim link to run that easier, so that you can get to this uh, these type of applications. So uh, I should note that Wine App Image is only 32 bit, so but works fine for. Uh, a lot of applications out there, especially ham applications. Uh, there's probably a lot of good uh, Windows applications that could run on here. So um, I'm a big Linux fan, though, obviously. But uh, these uh, type of applications are really cool. Hope to see this maybe uh, just natively in Linux in the future. All right, thanks.